NFL Week 2 Picks and Predictions. This is going to be a 16 under over parlay using the William Hill Sportsbook betting slip for Week 2. Okay, so my first game on the betting slip this week is going to be the Vikings at the Eagles. I didn't like the Vikings at all this week. They struggled on offense, although they were playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and they still have pretty much a championship caliber defense. You know, they just didn't do much at all. And you could see the loss of Adam Thielen and Dalvin Cook. It hurt them greatly. And then they struggled against them like that. Then you take the Eagles. The Eagles played the Patriots. The Patriots will make anybody's offense slow down. You know, Belichick's a a really creative and tough-minded guy on that side of the ball. So the Eagles didn't shine. But this week, there's a under over of 48 and a half. With the Eagles being at home, I think they'll do their part. But I think that Minnesota's going to struggle on offense this year without the weapons from last year. So I'm taking the under on this game. I just don't see uh, Minnesota being able to put up enough points to help go over. Second pick. My second pick is going to be the Baltimore Ravens at the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, if you watched my last video on my parlay for the point spread, you heard what I thought about Cincinnati. Cincinnati, Joe Burrow is hurt. He's hiding it. He wants to man up and play for the team since he signed that big contract. That's all you need to know. His leg's not working. He's not going to be able to stand up to that Baltimore defense. That offense won't put up a lot of points. They just won't. And uh, if I look at it correctly, the point uh, total is 46 and a half. 46 and a half. I think that's just too much for Cincinnati at this point. I think they struggle. They only put up about 17, maybe 20. And then you go ahead and give the Ravens 21, 24. And you come up a little short. So at that point, I'm thinking in my head to go under. So my second pick is going to be under. Baltimore Ravens at Cincinnati Bengals. I'm taking the under because I believe Joe Burrow is still injured and the two tough defenses there will hold the point scoring down. So then we're going to move on to my third pick. That's going to be the San Francisco 49ers at the LA Rams. Now this is an interesting kind of game here. The Rams put up 30 last week against the Seattle Seahawks. Nobody really saw that coming. You know, especially with Matthew Stafford coming back from his injury from last year. Cooper coming back from his injury. Trading away Brooks at wide receiver. They just seem to be, you know, not really there on offense. But Sean McVay, a really creative guy. He came out. He gave the Seattle defense all he can handle. Moving the ball around. Using the tight ends. Using sweeps. Using screens. You know, everything. He was able to muster up 30 on that Seattle defense. Then you take the 49ers. They went into Pittsburgh, and they just manhandled the Steelers. There's no way around it. Right from the opening jump, they came down, touchdown, field goal, touchdown, touchdown. Before you know it, the game was over with by halftime, and the Steelers just didn't know what hit them. So Brock Purdy's fooled me. He's come out. He looked a little sharp. I thought maybe there would be some rust there from the surgery, rust there from not really practicing, being in spring camp and all that other stuff. But he fooled me. And that really goes back to Shanahan. He's such a creative mind as an offensive, you know, mastermind and and planner and organizer that he just uh, befuddled the Steelers defense. So then you say, okay, well, you got two teams that are super high scoring. This is probably going to go over. This is probably going to be a big time game here. But I'm kind of maybe thinking that it's going, you know, 44 and a half is the point total in this game. So I'm thinking it's going to go over. I'm thinking with two offensive creative masterminds like Sean McVay and Kyle Shanahan on the same field at the same time, you throw two really good quarterbacks into the mix there, you know, Purdy slinging it around, and of course Matthew Stafford, the Super Bowl winner, being able to throw it around using Sean McVay's creative mind. I'm thinking at 44 and a half, that's kind of low, so I'm going to take the over with the third of my 16 uh Week two parlay. Now, before we go much further than that, I want to thank all my subscribers. 
I want to thank you for all the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the like, subscribe, and share button. We would really appreciate some comments as well. We love those. We try to respond back to you at all times. Uh, so go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. Now we're going to move on to my fourth pick, the New York Jets at the Dallas Cowboys. I think the New York Jets surprised and shocked everyone with the ability to hold down the Buffalo Bills and that powerful offense they had. You know, uh, Josh Allen throwing the interceptions. Yeah, it just made the Jets' defense seem even more impressive than expected. Now, we knew they had Aaron Rodgers, so we figured the defense would play at a super high caliber to match him because they had real Super Bowl ambitions. Without Aaron Rodgers, you thought the defense would drop off. At least I did, but the defense held true. And with that, I got faith in them, so I won't go against the Jets' defense anymore this year. Now, you take the Dallas Cowboys. They just have the New York Giants number. I think that's 11 in a row wins for them. Uh, they beat them in all kinds of ways. Really tight games, blowouts, you know, average, you know, seven, eight point, 10 point wins, you know. So, so I just think that that could be overblown thinking 40 to nothing. But uh, at a 39 and a half point total, the Jets defense, the way Dallas can get after you on defense, I'm going to take the under in this game. I just think that the two defenses are up to a different level and uh, they're going to hold each other down a little bit. This will be a tightly fought game again. So, you know, one of these, you know, 2017, you know, 21, you know, 17 kind of games just under the 39 and a half point spread. So I'm going under with this game. Okay, with my fifth under over pick on the 16 parlay, I got the Washington Commanders at the Denver Broncos. Now, neither team looks super impressive this week, but I will give Washington credit. Little encumbered weather, new offensive coordinator, new offensive system, new starting quarterback, a lot of things going on. They were able to muster up 20 points in the win, even though I thought it would be a little bit easier than that. The Cardinals surprised me with a rather, you know, tough defensive scheme. But I'm going to give Washington credit. They still found a way to make plays. They still found a way to move the ball around. They still found a way to get in the end zone and get some points. So I'm going to give them a little credit. Maybe this week they come out fine-tuned a little bit better and they go ahead and put the ball in the end zone a little bit more maybe and get a few points on the board. Then you take the Denver Broncos. Playing against the Raiders, that was just a catastrophe. At home, Russell looks bad. The offense looks bad. They look completely out of sync. The tight end has disappeared. They got P. Ryan from Cincinnati in the backfield. He runs hard. He moves the ball. But I don't think Sean Payton wants to use him as much as maybe a team like Cincinnati because we all know Sean Payton had Drew Brees for years. He likes to throw the ball around. He never really had a big running back or running back to carry the ball a lot because his creative mind is into throwing a ball. So I don't think P. Ryan is going to get as much play and much hype, as many yards in the backfield as he would at another city and another team that had more of a, a running mentality. So he's not really that effective to me, especially not in their scheme. It's basically all sitting on Russell's uh, back or his shoulders for him to carry it. With the 39 point total, you know, I just think maybe Denver doesn't put up as much, but I think the Washington Commanders rebound in week two and they go over. I like this to be over because I just think that Washington will explode. They will get there close to maybe that 28 points and then Russell in his struggling offense gets me over the 39 point hurdle. So I'm going to take the Washington Commanders at the Denver Broncos in the over. That's going to be my fifth pick. Now my sixth and final choice in the sixth team under over parlay for week two using the William Hill Sportsbook is going to be the Cleveland Browns at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now Cleveland, they struggled a little bit in the rain. It was a thunderstorm, no way around it. The field was grass, it was torrential, it was a mud bowl but they had managed to put up 24 points. 
now. Give them a dry field. Give them new, fresh conditions. Put them out there. I think Cleveland puts up some points this week. And Juku, the tight end, looks like he wants to have a little bit of a breakout season. Amari Cooper is Amari Cooper. You throw him the ball, he's going to get his yards and catches. He's not flashy, but he comes through. He gets his yards and his catches. Of course, now you're giving a dry field, some good running room, traction for Nick Chubb back there. Nick Chubb's a beast. He's going to run on you. So with him moving the ball, Amari Cooper making the catches, and Juku out there now starting to show like he can be the tight end that they all think. Deshaun Watson having his comeback season, I think they put up some points. I do. I think Cleveland hits them from anywhere from 27 to 31. That's just my personal belief. Then you take the Pittsburgh Steelers. Kenny Pickett, he just, I don't know. They did so well in the preseason and I, it just didn't click in week one. And I guess a tough division rival, I really don't think they're going to explode onto the scene. And with a point total of 40, I think they struggle. But given that I think Cleveland is going to put up some points here, anywhere between 27 and 31, I'm going to go with the over. Feeling Pittsburgh might score maybe 17 again. You know, so I'm thinking that this is an over for Cleveland at Pittsburgh. There you have my 16 under over parlay for week two of the NFL season using the William Hill Sportsbook. Thanks as always. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. If you got an idea on another game, drop a suggestion. I'd love to hear about it and I'll get back to you on it. Have a good one.